Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Com, and this is a new series called 30 for 30, where I do 30 rapid fire critiques in 30 days, 15 Adorama picks, and 15 Squarespace rapid fire critiques. If you want to see all of the rapid fire critiques in one place, go ahead, click up on the screen right now. We'll take you over to the website to do that, but let's get into a critique. Here we go with another Squarespace rapid fire critique, part of my 30 for 30 critiques in 30 days, that's a lot of 30s, but if you haven't checked out Squarespace yet, please go to squarespace.com slash fro to get your 14-day free trial. It's what I personally use for jaredpoland.com. I think you'll love it. But let's get to this Andrew Wilson photography Squarespace critique. So this is where it starts. I like this photo. It's like Easy Rider, like don't take my picture. It seems old, nice and grainy, but it says Portfolio People, which is cool. This is an awesome front page that he has. I love this photo too, and it's Portfolio Places. So I'm, I'm getting a, a, a theme here of what he's doing, Portfolio Other. Mm, not sure that I would call it Other, and put that before weddings, the things that actually make you money, motorsports, motorsports, and, and people. Um, I wanted to come back to this photo because I absolutely love this. This reminds me of Breaking Bad, like there's a meth lab actually in the library and there's smoke coming out of it. I don't know, man, Andrew, is this a meth lab? I love the opening of your site. I really love this. I love the contrast that plays here. We've got a nice, you got your, uh, your uh, what are these things called? Your social buttons, about, blog, series, and portfolio. So that's really cool. So how do we get into the site? Can we get right to people if we click on this? You can get right to people if you click on that. So really simple to use. This is Forte, I believe, if you're looking for a Squarespace. Hold on, I have a Squarespace button right here that tells me everything. It is Squarespace 6 design, and it is Forte demo. So if anybody is looking for a Squarespace site template, this is what he's using. So let's see what happens when we click on the images. They grow full screen. This is probably a shot on film. Oh, I love it. I love it. I just clicked that way. In, in some of the sites I have with mine or my old one, you could click up and it would take you back to the gallery, but here you can just hit the X. I just love how large and responsive this is. Check it out. What I love about these sites is that they're responsive. So that means as you move it, or depending on what size the screen somebody has, is that it's responsive. Now, there's a big thing today with your website being responsive and digi uh, mobile friendly. Google will not, they'll basically penalize your site on mobile if you're in mobile search, if it's not mobile friendly. I had this problem for a long time with fronosphoto.com because it wasn't responsive and it wasn't mobile friendly, which it is now. So Squarespace gives you that ability to be mobile friendly right off the bat. And I absolutely love that it's responsive. So I like this. Good amount of photos, I like that. Oh, I wanna see this photo because it looks good. I like that, I love, I like the photo, but this isn't a critique about the photos. So let's go up here and see the different Portfolios, portfolio places other. I probably would make other last. What do you? What is your focus? Like, what are you going for? And so that's the thing. Well, actually, let me try to figure out what he's going for by clicking on the about. I am a li okay, okay, okay. Here's a pro. Here's a good thing. Remember on those other websites that I've talked about where the background has been an off white and then they've used the light gray font or text and it's very hard to read. This is a nice bold black font, and I can read it. On, on the on the thingy ma bobber. Oh, and he does shoot film because there you go, you can see him shooting his reflection right here. I am a Liverpool based photographer originally from North Wales. I can't do the British accent. Taking photographs has been important to me since I got my first camera at the age of 17. Over time, I've developed my skills and approach uh, to photography. My way of doing it is just to be South Park, I guess. Um, ah, ah, great job, Andrew. What I love that he's doing is that he's doing it in first person. I yell so much about it when people are like, John Smith photography has been around since 1972 and John Smith is a great photographer. Just own it. You're a photographer, you've got a creative vision, creative vision, tell people about it and that's what he's doing here. I love this a little bit about myself. It's first person, great. Uh, I wanna read what he, uh, I'm gonna make it larger because I'm blind. Um, as well as shooting with a digital camera, I occasionally use my film camera and have learned how to process and develop my own photos. Love it. My portfolio showcases some of the best photographs I have taken in the past few years and the type of photos I enjoy taking most, photos that hint at or tell a story. I'm available to photograph events such as weddings and special occasions. The Northwest is where I am uh, readily available, but I would be interested in working further 
a field. Oh, that's a cool word. I also offer my photographs as prints for sale. Please feel free to contact me. Now this is well written. Nice job. Bravo. Bravo, cheerio. Nice job, Andrew. I love this. That's, that's great. So I went to the about page to see what he is all about before I go ahead and rip on the portfolio and say, well, he shouldn't have the other there. So he's available to, for hire. It's there. So in that case, I'd move the other somewhere else. Places. Looks good. Really, I like this layout. I mean, it's good that you click on it and bam, you've got the different photos. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, that's cool too. That's really nice too from the sky. I, you can tell the difference between the film because when you scan film, the contrast gets really nice or, or really big and I like contrast, you know that. Um, nice photos, nice job. I really get a feel that these are good. I, I like the photojournalistic aspect. I like that he says, I know digital, but I also learned how to shoot film and develop it myself. Uh, weddings real quick. Very photojournalistic, candid style photos. Nice job right there. I like this layout. See, one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four is 16 images. Really nice choice of images. In terms of amount, 16 images, good amount. Anywhere between 10 and 20 is good. Less than 20 feels about right. Showcase your best of the best of the best with honor, sir. And 16, one, it looks good on the screen. Two, it's not overpowering and overwhelming because when you see 35 images, you just continually scroll, it gets old. This is really good. So I'm going to go to the series is Paris 2012. Let's see what Paris 2012 looks like. Oh, nice. It's got a little bit of information about it first. Series Liverpool. And Liverpool. I want to see more photo stories. You know I absolutely love photo stories. Oh, and this photo being the front page one, I maybe wouldn't choose that as a photo story because this isn't that great of a photo. It's a fine photo in terms of exposure, unless this means something and I'm just getting it wrong. But I think that this would be more enticing on the front page. Mm, maybe not so much. What would be more enticing? There's something here that would be enticing. No, well, that's a vertical, so you wouldn't want that on the first page. That's okay. All right, you'll, you'll figure it out. Oh, I like this. It's okay. It's all right. All right, I'm going to keep going. Blog. Oh, I love blogs. Please be updated. Please be updated. Yay, it's updated. Today's August 23rd, so it's not that far off. July 22nd, July 19th, July 7th, Ju May, May, June. Skipped all of June, and then it gets older and older and older. Uh, March, March, March. Not bad, not bad. Like I always say, when you're going to, do, ooh, in latest posts, that's pretty cool too. I like that there's photos over there. That looks really good. Um, I'm a big fan of if you're going to do a blog, you keep it up to date as much as possible. At least try to do once a week, if not every other week, just so that people get used to seeing stuff. We've done the about. We've got all of this other stuff. This is really good. Forte demo is the, uh, is, the, is the design, is the template that he picked on Squarespace. This is a great, I really love this critique. So many things done well here from the, from the about section being written first person to the font and text color to be right on to this image choice selections to, to using Squarespace. I, I, this is fantastic. This is a website that you guys should take a look at uh, and, and find some good inspiration and ideas for creating your own website doing that. So that is another 30 for 30. If you haven't checked out Squarespace and you're looking to create your own website, I bet you could create something like this in a matter of an hour to two hours. You could be off and running if you're ready with your images to be put up. So go ahead, check out squarespace.com fro to get a 14-day free trial. And if you decide that you do like it, which many people do, please use my code fro to get 10% off your first month or first year and if you sign up for a full year it's like eight bucks a month that includes the hosting that includes the service that includes everything you need to do to have a turnkey solution to have a professional looking website in the world to make your photos look better and that's where i'll leave it jared poland fronosphoto.com see ya to check out all the videos from this 30 for 30 series, go ahead and click up on the screen right now. It's going to take you over to the post over on fronosphoto.com where you can see all 30 posts once they are live.